Hi Capricorn, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate. If a message isn't for you, leave it for someone else. You can check your other signs or check back next time. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Okay, we have deception and we have engagement. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. There's someone you're connecting with that is not doing what they truly want to do. Okay, they're not listening to their heart. We're going to get some more information on that. Who is this person? Seven of Cups. They're a confusing person. You've gotten a lot of mixed signals from this person. I do see this person having different directions they could go. Okay, and the Knight of Pentacles, they're taking their sweet time choosing a direction. Ace of Wands. They want to take action on the new direction with the Ace of Wands coming out. They, they're looking for a new adventure in life. The full new beginnings. Yeah, so that's just clarifying what I said to begin with. This is someone who wants to take the road less traveled. Okay, this is someone who wants to take the new path. Aquarius energy, Gemini, Aries. They're, they're, so it's like they're confused on which direction to go. However, the full being here, the Seven of Cups, they know what direction would make them happiest. And it's the direction on setting themselves free from something. It's the direction that it, it leads to the most risk. But they're still... It's almost like this person feels obligated to stay where they're at. Wherever that might be, whatever your situation might be. King of Wands. High Priestess. So this is an energy of you waiting for someone to speak to you. The High Priestess is silence, secrets. The King of Wands. You see somebody who wants to speak like you feel like this person does want to talk to you and you're correct they do you feel the high priestess you feel a strong intuition towards knowing what's going on here as to why they're not speaking with you so i feel like you know why someone is not speaking Pisces energy, Ace of Swords, so you have all the clarity you need in this situation. It's just, you, you know it's a matter of time somebody takes action and speaks up. That's what your intuition is telling you, that they're going to break the silence. So...
They're ha they are having difficulties moving forward, Capricorn. Okay, they are. They're. It's it's almost like this person's trying to make peace with wanting something new, wanting something fresh. There is an energy of feeling guilty. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They don't want to hurt this Queen of Cups. Two of Pentacles. That's just, yeah, the decision. So it's like they know their decision is going to affect someone else emotionally. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I, I just, I feel like this person doesn't want to jump before they think. How do they see Capricorn? Let's see. How do they see you? You're the direction they want to go. They see you as the Ace of Pentacles. They see you as the new opportunity. They want a fresh start with you. How do they feel? The Ten of Cups. They want to be in a relationship. So, you know, this is someone who wants a family with you. They want this. They want it all with you, Capricorn. But they're not speaking with you. They're, I don't feel like they're telling you this. There's a lot of telepathy here that you're picking up on. Your senses, the high priestess. I feel like you are able to feel the emotions of others, whether you realize it or not. Okay. It's kind of like being hyper aware. Okay, you could have extra sensory abilities, but you're definitely hyper, you have a hyper sense of awareness. And this is just confirming that I feel like the general message Capricorn, it's like what you feel about a situation is accurate. Maybe not a hundred percent of the time, but in this particular situation, it's accurate. However are you feeling about it? You have a queen of cups. Queen of Cups. It's also an energy of like sitting with yourself, meditating, and really getting in touch with how you truly feel. Because you have all the power, you have all the answers. You truly do. One more, please. Knight of Wands. This person wants to take action and jump into a situation with you. But I do feel like with the Deception card, they're not truly being themselves. They're not being authentic. What do they want from Capricorn? That Knight of Wands can indicate somebody coming back into your life or just someone taking action in general. But I do feel, again, like they are in this energy of not wanting to be too impulsive. It's kind of an energy of really wanting to think things through before they jump in to anything. They know what they want. I mean, Hermit, Virgo energy, this person, again... Just keeps repeating what I've already been saying, Capricorn. That's somebody really going within and trying to consider all these options. Seven of Cups. They're... What's so interesting enough, Capricorn, they're wanting to be self-aware in their decisions. Because they deem the direction towards you to be a very risky one. Whether this is a po proposal of some kind or an offer of a relationship. Yeah. That's my intuition. They're trying to consider all the possibilities, but again, they know what they want. They know exactly what they want. But it's just overanalyzing. They're overanalyzing it. Yeah, look at this. Two of Pentacles. And again, Knight of Swords. Very clear. They don't want to make the wrong decision. They don't know 
And, and what's so interesting to Capricorn, it's like the decision that they, that their heart's desires, I feel like that would be the right decision, but they don't think that way. They're really trying to weigh all their options and consider all possibility, all possible outcomes. What do they like about Capricorn? What do they like about you? Two of Swords. That you don't just give yourself away to anyone. You've made it very clear that you are guarded. You made it very clear that you're not just open to anyone coming into your space. So they definitely like how it's you're hard to get with the Two of Swords. Six of Cups. You know, they like thinking about you. They like reminiscing about you. They have a really good memory here of you. But this is the Six of Cups energy is you two are very compatible in that sense of not just letting anyone in your space. They feel like you guys are very compatible with each other. What are their next actions towards Capricorn? What are their next actions towards Capricorn? Seven of Pentacles. Why the Seven of Pentacles? That's faith, okay? And with the Fool, I feel like they're going to take a leap of faith in your direction. And then we have the King of Swords. So this is someone that's coming through to speak with you. I feel like they want to test the waters here some more with you. The Seven of Pentacles is all about watering the garden and nurturing the situation. In this particular deck, it says faith. So it's kind of like they are going to take a leap of faith with the full card and invest in a situation with you. Because, you know, the Seven of Pentacles is all about that, like, nurturing is something and not... Not sure if you're going to see a return in that. Giving energy to something and hoping it grows. Having faith that it will turn out. That it will work out. The King of Swords is this person, you know, making a very clear decision to invest. What's Capricorn's advice in this situation? What is Capricorn's advice in this situation? Three of Swords. That says affairs of the heart. Don't be a part of a third party. That's your advice. So this person needs to fully leave a situation. That's your advice. Whether you take it or not is on you. But um, then we have the tower at the bottom of the deck, King of Cups. So, you know, the death card. Your advice is to not be a part of a third party. Whatever that third party might be to you. It's kind of like somebody needs to be all in or, or not at all. What's their hidden truth? Sorry about that. What is their hidden truth, please? You're inspiring them to make the decision. It's because of you, right? You inspire. It says you inspire me. That's, you know, they want this new direction with you. And then they want you so badly. Can I get one more? Can I get one more, please? We will be together again.
They miss you, Capricorn. Those are your messages. Until next time. Bye.